السلام عليكم حبيباتي and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts I was doing a live last week and you were like do more the warning is that how I should say their name? I shouldn't be like do more warning I should be do more the warning that's the correct way to say it so um, I had a couple suggestions and then I went to their YouTube channel and then I saw this gem this is The Pretender by The Foo Fighters covered by The Warning We've performed The Pretender. The Pretender is one of the songs we love to perform. This is back in uni, full band, electric. I can't even tell you a dish fashit khilit that song is because when you get on stage and you're performing it, oh my God, the feeling you get from that song is so freaking powerful. I love singing it. I love listening to it. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, I, there's two songs that usually get me out of a rut. One of them is this song. I'll just blast it in the house until my neighbors call me and be like, Budi and I'll be like, just one more time. And then they'll be like, okay. But that song I'll play. And the second song is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. And I am not ashamed of admitting that. Should be. Why? I love Taylor Swift. I love Swifty. I don't know why, by the way. I just do. I watch their Eras tour. <laughs> So here we go, The Pretender, Foo Fighters. I'm gonna be super critical of this because it's a song that I know like the back of my hand. And, uh, I don't really know the back of my hand that well. I don't know if people say that. I know it like the back of my nose. I know the front of my hand way more than the back. Right? Because you look at the front more. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, support us a little extra if you want to by leaving a super thanks down below or joining us over on Patreon where you get access to all of our blocked videos, some vlogs, we get to have some often conversations, the community is growing there, and you pretty much get to decide where this channel is headed. I'm so excited. If they do a better job than us, I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> Original key? I think it's original key. Keep you in the dark, you know that you're pretend. Keep you in the dark and so weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's very ambitious for kids to be trying to pull this song off. Can I tell you something? Go on. And the sound is gonna be, and the sound is gonna be full, isn't it? Dude, the drums are so good. Oh, man, it's so good. I can't believe it. Not just like the playing, the tonality, the energy, the force, but just the attitude, man. This is the world's greatest drummer waiting to happen. I swear to God. Holy wowzers. I can't believe how full that chorus sounds. Like, you're missing the guitar riff. In the beginning, you're missing the, 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 the yeah, cha, 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 cha. You're missing that for sure, but in the chorus, it's a full house. 
It's a it's a fuller house. The harmonies are like the nicer, you know, the nicer way of singing it. This, by the way, it's very hard to sing that part and play that. Um, that that's a ten. What is it? What is it? What's the um, uh, ten, nan, 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 like that lick? It's very difficult to keep playing because you're picking everything basically and sing it at the same time. Usually you want to be the guitarist that's doing the chit chit as you sing because that, that'll be just a tad bit easier. So you mess up once, you know? What sounds like that? Yeah! Tempo. So meaty. Are you listening to these fills? Like, what the hell? Dave Grohl, you know? Taylor, freaking Hawkins, like, this is insane. That's a good sound. Mirrored in your stare. I'm what's left. I'm what's right. I'm the enemy. I'm the head that will take you down. So who are you? Yeah, who are you? Yeah, oh, I yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah. Keep you in the dark, you know that you're pretending. went to a freaking concert that's what just happened i just went to a freaking concert is this live or not huh is it live or is it it's it's a video a, i'm assuming they recorded in the studio but it's a live recording in the studio like you can hear everything there's no auto tune there's no effects there's just a little bit of reverb some compression so it's a live take it's freaking phenomenal it's beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful it's a three-piece. You know why it's so good? Because look at me. I felt that entire thing. Like, that's what music does. If music does this to you, you know it's good music. Forget everything else. Forget the rule books. Forget the impression. Forget everything. It's just if you feel this way after watching or listening to something, that's a good piece of music. And that was freaking phenomenal. I love it. I can't believe a three-piece band played by kids gave me the same feshit khilit as my favorite Foo Fighters song. Like, listening to it. Like, that's insane. And they're all singing, right? They're all singing, they're all singing. They're all singing, they're all singing different parts. Which, is, which helps a lot in making the sound bigger. In the choruses and in the parts, especially at the end when they're doing the what if I say keep you in, like that bit, the blend is beautiful. The timing, dude, they're so tight. So tight. Yeah. They're sisters. They 
They literally they have that. It's just khalas. They don't have to think about it anymore. It just happens naturally. But that everything, timing is perfect. This is, to me, like the most important thing about the song is the drums. You know, the bass line is sick. The guitar riff is amazing. The, the sound of the guitar, and I'm really happy they were able to get close to it. But this is a song. It's all about the drums, man. It's such a good song for drums. Like if you can play this song, congratulations, you've graduated as a drummer. Mush Innu, she plays it. She freaking wrecks it. She owns it, dude. That was so good. That was a freaking good time. I'm so happy I found this. I was honestly happy. Like when I saw it on the YouTube, I'm like, what? This is cool. But now that I've actually listened to it, Mush Innu, it doesn't disappoint. It's on point, dude. It's freaking perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. If you want to support us, you can do that by leaving a super thanks down below if the video allows it or by joining us over on Patreon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Salamat. Yeah.